Hi, I'm Jonathan, an Applications Engineer with Hawkridge Systems. This is going to be just a quick video on some enhancements that have been made to the Linear Pattern feature in SOLIDWORKS 2015. Now the biggest difference is that we now have two modes to use in the Linear Pattern feature. The first of which is the familiar spacing and instances mode, in which we can control the spacing between instances as well as the total number of instances. Now new to 2015 is this up to reference mode. The way this works is we select a piece of geometry to use the reference on the model. We can also add a offset from that piece of geometry. And then we have to use one of two methods. Either we set the spacing between the instances or we set the total number of instances. Now the way these two methods behave if we change the base geometry is a little bit different. So this blue bar has been set uh, using the total number of instances, and this green bar has been set using the spacing between instances. And you'll see if I change the length of the bar, the blue one just adapts the spacing between the instances, whereas the green one actually adds or removes instances as necessary. Now there's one last enhancement that's been made to the linear pattern feature in SOLIDWORKS 2015, and that is that we can change from a feature to a body pattern on the fly. Before 2015, if we needed to do this, we would have to delete the pattern feature and then create a new one. But now we can just edit the feature, switch to a body pattern, and everything behaves as it should. So this has been just a quick review of some enhancements that have been made to the Linear Pattern feature in SOLIDWORKS 2015. For more useful SOLIDWORKS videos, make sure to subscribe to the Hawkridge Systems channel. And as always, thanks for watching.